All right, if you ever needed proof about how just fucking debunk Starfield's engine is, how debunk Creative Engine 2 is, look at look at Spider-Man 2, okay? It's a fucking, it's a superhero game, which is, superhero games in the past are like known for being fucking terrible. Not only does is this game look better, just look, look at the fast travel system in this game. Look, look, at, look at this and then tell me why Starfield couldn't, couldn't have a better uh, fast travel system. And, and look at the map look look how look how big this map is it, it has like it doesn't have all the boroughs and all the entirety of the boroughs but look how massive this is do you remember like uh the division only had like a very small part of manhattan that was playable look how big i mean may, maybe you could you could even unlock more as the game goes on i'm not sure but look how big this map is okay and look look how fast travel works just just look okay and you're fucking there and you're there you get there look how quick it is it's fucking seamless you hold down a button for three seconds and you're there it's fucking astonishing there's no load screen okay it's literally like a quick time event and you're fucking there it's astronomical tell me why starfield couldn't have something like this tell me why tell me why the engine wasn't good enough And look, you can, you can go anywhere you want. What happened? What happened to start? You could literally, uh, oh my God. This is from a superhero game. Superhero games, like I said, have been so like, like for the most part, most superhero games are fucking trash. And this game has a superior engine and it, it even looks great. A superior game engine to from to Bethesda. Oh my god, he tra he fast travels again. I just don't understand. It's not even fast travel points. When you're fast traveling in Starfield, it's specific points you're fast traveling to. This guy can just point anywhere on the fucking map and be there. No load screen and a fucking like cutscene that gets you there. And it takes f fucking three seconds and there's no black screen loading screen. Holy shit. Unbelievable. And not to mention that you can actually just just uh, zip around if you want manually. If you want to go from Manhattan to Brooklyn or to Queens, you can actually just just do it manually. But literally, see, th this this is why the argument that like it, it was just it's like it's 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 a non-starter for me. Okay, it's clear if you compare starfield and creative engine 2 to fucking anything that's out today it's like so it's clearly it's a fucking dinosaur and this is why it's such a non-starter for me that people are they're defending it because i don't i don't need i don't need to argue that it's better than the the engine in fallout 3 okay you have to compare your games to what's out there what's your competition okay this is not even uh, this is not, not even an rpg it's an open un, somehow it's an, it's an actual open world game and it's a fucking superhero game which are like not historically that great games and somehow this game does fast traveling better and it also it, it doesn't it doesn't look spectacular it looks good it looks good enough it looks as good you know what i would even say it might even look better than starfield actually all right it's 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 probably just as bad as starfield the graphics are not are not that great but you know what I accept these bad graphics. You know why? Because you can fast travel anywhere you want and you can manually go wherever you want. So I understand because essentially they have to load in the entire map all at once. So I kind of understand why the graphics would be bad. In Starfield, obviously you have the fucking box that you're in because you can't leave the box unless you go through a load screen or you fast travel away anyways. But in this game, it has to load the entire game all at once because realistically you could go from one side of the map to the other. So it has to load the entire thing seamlessly. Starfield does not get the same excuse. There's a reason why these textures might, might not might not be fantastic. Spider-Man 2 is made by Sony, okay? Like it's not like it's a game, it's a game developer that has 20 years experience making open world games like Bethesda does. It's 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 flabbergasting, okay? It's just it's incredible that Sony, again, not nearly as much experience making open world games, has done such a better job than Bethesda. But, but like anytime somebody defends Creative Vision 2 in Starfield, show them this game. Show them a game made by Sony Interactive, okay? That that has almost no experience in open world games compared to Bethesda's been doing it for 20 years. It just makes no fucking sense.